Social Security is busted and they need some major reform to this very important program. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in this video, so let's get right into it. Alright, as all of us know, Social Security is a very important program that sends out monthly benefits to about 70 million beneficiaries for everybody encompassed under the Social Security umbrella. Well, the reports are also showing that the vast majority of Social Security beneficiaries rely on their monthly benefits for all or the vast majority of their monthly income. So once again, as you can see here, it is very, very important. Well, as a result of that, this program needs some major reform and some congressional action because they need to continue sending out all of these monthly benefits for many more decades to come and make sure that all the beneficiaries are taken care of as essentially that's what this program was set up to do. So let's get into it quickly and talk about why this program needs some major reform and how this program is a little bit busted up. So let's get right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. I am your one and only daily advocate and I'm here for you each and every day right by your side as I am very much dedicated to you and this community to continue doing all the research and breaking it down into these short videos so that you can stay updated with what is actually going on right now, especially as it pertains to money, your fixed income benefits, Social Security, Retirement, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, RRB, as well as reform to these very important programs, new bills, piece of legislation, announcements out of lawmakers or the administration or the president, as well as checks and so much more that is going on right here right now for the low income and fixed income. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any videos going forward during this very busy time. And I'll continue to be here for you in any way that I possibly can be, keeping you up and helping you get as much money as we possibly can right here, right now. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into it and talk about how Social Security is looking good now, but it's actually a little bit busted up and needs some repair with congressional action and, of course, some reform to these programs. Now, as you've uh, probably heard in previous videos, we've talked about this in many uh, other videos, but again, I'm not going to go down this road in this video, but there are actually many pieces of legislation out there right now to actually do a bunch of things to Social Security, including the Social Security 2100, there's also another one that was recently introduced, the Social Security Expansion Act. That one would send out $200 per month raises to benefits, as well as the Social Security for Futures Generations Act. Uh, that one was recently introduced as well, as well as some other programs out there um, to reform these programs and uh, actually raise benefits, which is actually pretty good. But let's quickly talk about how this program is kind of busted up and what they need to do to actually reform the program and make sure that they can continue to send out guaranteed promised benefits benefits for all the beneficiaries going forward for many more decades to come. All right, so let me talk through this really quickly. I want to share with you one statistic. I have said this before in other videos, but it's been quite a while since I brought this up. But I want to share this with you because it's actually a very valid point here with what is actually going on with this program. So as of right now, on average, there are 10,000 people becoming eligible for Social Security benefits every single day. Now, this is just for Social Security retirement benefits, not taking into consideration SSDI, Social Security Disability, Survivor's Benefits, and or SSI, Supplemental Security Income, which technically isn't Social Security, but it is administered by Social Security, so um, I still want to put it in there. But again, 10,000 people every single day. That's a lot, especially right now, as we're starting to see that the labor participation rate is also continuing to slow. In other words, less people working, paying in through payroll taxes, funding Social Security's trust fund, and more people drawing on benefits. You can kind of see here, this equation isn't really working out, right? So as a result of that, we can, quick, uh, we can clearly see here that Congress needs to take some action, right? Um, by the way, Social Security reform must be done through congressional action. Social Security can't come out and say, hey, we're changing ourselves. No, it doesn't work that way. The president cannot write executive orders. None of that can be done uh, in those methods, but rather it must be done through congressional action. They have to do it that way. And again, it cannot be done through reconciliation has to be done through um, just the, the, the plain old boring uh, way that Congress actually gets bills done, right? So with that being said, uh, we might have a little bit of an uphill um, kind of struggle here going forward to get this thing actually done. But anyway, 
Let's talk through the details because I want to share with you some new information that was released out of the Social Security Board of Trustees and what that information is actually sharing with us and how this actually translates into guaranteed promised benefits into the future. So I had a dedicated video about that, I don't know, month, month and a half ago or something like that, talking about how these, uh, like the finances of Social Security and what it means going forward for many more decades to come. Well, here's what we know about Social Security. They're sitting on about $2.85 trillion dollars of money in the trust fund. By the way, that is just the uh, the old age and survivors trust fund, uh, not taking into consideration the disability trust fund. So they're sitting on, let's just call it nearly $3 trillion in the trust fund. That's a massive amount of money, right? But um, yeah, the money's great, the money's there, but at the same time, it may not be lasting quite as long as we all need it to, right? So they're also projecting that insolvency could be hitting this uh, program by about 2035, which is about 12 and a half years from right now. Now, what does this actually mean when they hit insolvency? Does this mean that benefits are going to stop and that benefits are going to end for all the beneficiaries? No, it actually doesn't mean that at all. But rather, all it means is that the, the trust fund would be depleted, therefore leaving it up to them where they can only pay out the actual received uh, payroll taxes. So they'd only be able to pay out at that time the payroll taxes that are coming in. So money would be coming in through the door, through payroll taxes, and then it'd be going out the other door for all the beneficiaries. But what they've actually noticed with this latest report out of the Social Security Board of Trustees is that they could pay out roughly 80% of those promised benefits, which is actually some um, a little bit of an uptick from the report from last year by about 3%. However, let me give you a quick example on this and tell you what this actually means for your benefit in the event that this program becomes insolvent. I'm just gonna use a round number here for easy mathematical purposes and for this example. So let's just say that the program became insolvent today. They can only pay out 80% of benefits. Again, this is not the case right now, but in the future, it is absolutely the case. So let me tell you the details behind this and how this would all shake out in the event of insolvency and them only being able to pay out 80% of promised benefits. Here's what it comes down to. They receive all the money coming in through payroll taxes. They pay it all right back out at a rate of 80%. Here's what it comes down to. If you're receiving a $1,000 monthly benefit, that's what their, you know, your guaranteed promised benefit is. However, if they can only pay out 80%, that would mean that you would immediately see a $200 per month decrease in your benefit from $1,000 down to $800. That's 80% of 1,000 is $800. So you would effectively be seeing a decrease in your benefits by 20% or $200 per month down to just $800, which would be 80% of your promised benefits because that's what they've said they could they could do in the event of insolvency. So you can see here, pretty important, right? That's why this program needs some major reform and they need it fast. Even though that this is potentially out, maybe call it 12, 12 and a half years or from right now, time goes very quickly right now. And in the event of another recession, which is already right here right now, it's it's upon us. In the event that we see massive layoffs or we see um, you know, the, 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 the job sector, the job market kind of go down a little bit, we see the unemployment rate uh, actually increase, this just means that it's less people paying into social security through payroll taxes. Well, as a result of that, you can kind of see how this equation is working. They're still sending out all the promised benefits to all the beneficiaries, plus all the new people uh, that are drawing on benefits each and every month, which is great, by the way. Um, if you want to start getting your benefits, by all means, you got to do what's best for your situation. But the fact of the matter is, in the event of another recession, possibly something where a lot of jobs are lost, that just means a lot of extra money that is not going into the Social Security Trust Fund through payroll taxes, meaning the insolvency issue could be coming much sooner than we actually think it's going to be because this report is based on the current environment as of right now. But based on some most recent reports that we've been seeing coming out, they're anticipating that this unemployment rate is likely going to be over 5%, nearing 6% here within the next year, year and a half, or even two years. That's a lot of people that are being taken out of the job market, right? Therefore, it means all that less money going into the Social Security Trust Fund. And kind of see with how this whole uh, this whole equation is actually playing out right now, right? So it's like a big machine, right? All the parts of the machine must be working properly. If one part of the machine breaks down, it's basically probably going to break down the rest of the machine, right? Kind of that's how the, this whole system works. People go out to work, 
they earn a wage, they earn a salary, they pay in through Social Security payroll taxes, it goes into the trust fund, it's paid out through the, uh, through the trust fund into the beneficiaries accounts, and the beneficiaries go out into the economy, spend the money, and you can see how the process repeats once and once again, right? Time and time again, this, uh, this whole system continues to revolve around and around, and that's how it works. However, if we remove people out of the, the workforce, that means less people paying in, less money going into the trust fund, all more money going out of the trust fund, less money coming in, more money going out, the insolvency issue all of a sudden occurs more quickly. Kind of makes sense? Yeah, right? It's kind of complicated. I totally understand that. But this is how the system is working right now. But again, it's going to take a very long time to uh, kind of drain that trust fund, which we don't want to happen. But unfortunately, that is kind of what's happening. It's a slow leak right now where more money is going out than what's actually coming in, therefore providing a slow leak to the system. And over long periods of time, eventually it's going to drain it, right? So anyway, this is something going on right now, how the program is kind of broken, but there are some programs out there and piece of legislation to actually reform Social Security and ultimately make sure that it is solvent for many more years to come, including that program out of Bernie Sanders, where he wants to increase solvency for about 74 years out until virtually the end of the century. So <laughs> that's a pretty good one, right? Also providing that raise to monthly benefits. Anyway, I wanna come back here for you, kind of give you a glimpse into the behind the scenes look on Social Security, what this all means, means for the beneficiaries and what it means for the program as a whole going forward into the future. Anyway, I hope this one kind of gives you a better glimpse into what's going on with this program, why these benefits are so incredibly important, and how many people re actually rely on these benefits for the vast majority of their income. Anyway, as I do get more details, of course, I'll be right back here for you, breaking it all down, letting you know what is actually going on and how it's going to actually um, translate into your monthly benefits going forward. So, Thanks again for watching this. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out some of the other thousands of videos right here on the channel. Until next time, have a good one. Enjoy your day. Go back and watch some of the other videos, and I'll catch you again later in the next one.